The materials that you will need to make this DIY kawaii popsicle is white puffy paint, acrylic paints in the colors of your choice, various paintbrushes, popsicle sticks, and different cutting tools, scissors, foam, and I'm using car wash sponges, and lastly you will be needing pre-made sprinkles which I will show you how to make later. Before making the actual squishy, I've decided to make a template to make cutting easier. Once you've traced out the top part of the popsicle, go ahead and cut it out. Now it's time to work on the actual squishy. Since my block of foam is a little bit too thick, I'm going to cut it in half to minimize the size of the popsicle. And now that I have two pieces of foam, I could make two popsicle squishies. Next, place on the template that you made earlier and trace around it with a marker. When you're done, carefully remove the template and cut around the shape. Once you have the basic shape, go in with your scissors and round off the harsh edges. And the top part of your popsicle should look something like this. After this step, you are free to personalize your popsicle however you'd like, but for this one, I've decided to cut a bite mark. When you're done, it's time to paint, of course. And for that, I used white puffy paint first, just so that the colors can show on white better than yellow. While that's currently drying, I'm going to show you guys how to make pre-made sprinkles. And for that, I'm using polymer clay or oven baked clay, which can be found in any craft stores. I won't be explaining too much on this step, so hopefully while watching the video, you guys can understand and get the gist of how to make these sprinkles. And don't be like me showing yourself how to cut fast and then you end up cutting yourself. Yeah. Now back on to the popsicle. After three layers of the white puffy paint, it's time to paint on the actual color or the flavor of the popsicle. So I've painted my popsicle pink for strawberry. After all of the paint has dried, it's time to insert the popsicle. So first, to insert the popsicle, I created a little slit at the bottom of the squishy. And for the popsicle stick itself, I took a whole popsicle stick and just cut off one end of it. Then secure the popsicle stick on with some more paint. This last part is definitely my favorite part and it is to decorate your own homemade popsicle squishy. So I guess you could just watch me decorate this squishy. And yes, from those that are wondering, I am kind of sick, so sorry about the weirdness of my voice. Once the whole squishy is completely dried, I made a cute little packaging to go along with the actual squishy. And if you do recreate this, then don't forget to tag me on Instagram, showing me that you did make this and gave credit. And that is how you make your very own kawaii popsicle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and definitely subscribe down below for more future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!